And let's do some mulching. So this is the TMC Consala mulch that I got last year. And uh, it's been sitting under the shelter for the past few months. I really haven't had a whole lot to use it for. But now that spring has sprung, it is time to do some springtime cleanup. Got a several little things to use it for, start cleaning everything up. So I brought that over here yesterday, got the machine fueled up and greased. And uh, there was a stump sticking up about two and a half feet right here, big old oak stump. And uh, I fired it up and chewed that bad boy down into little, little giblets. I mean, look at that. That's like a 24 inch stump. So uh, what I want to do is I kind of ran in here for a few minutes and started mulching this underbrush down. But I like all these nice big oaks right here. I still got to grade this out a little bit. But uh, with the cabin right there and all this, I want to kind of open it up. So I'm going to come in here and mulch all this stuff down. Probably like right in here, just up there to where the ditch is that goes into the pond. Probably grab most of these little trees right here just to kind of open all this up. And I think this is going to make this look a lot better and be a little bit easier to maintain everything. I got a pile of mulch that I can spread in here, but that's the ultimate goal. What I'm looking for right there is to kind of open it up and get rid of all these briars and these few little sweet gum trees. So let's get the mulcher going and eat some bushes.
starting to get a little dusty around here. So this is some very fine, silty dirt here. So as you mulch it up, boy, it just sucks that dust right up, but doing good. So there's a couple tight spots in there. I'll probably have to go in there with the mini and either pluck that out or mulch that up with that, especially kind of in here between the trees. I don't want to bang them, bang all the roots up and hit those with the mulcher and tear up the trees. That kind of defeats the purpose of cleaning up around them. But that really opened this up. I like the way this looks right here. And uh, I can come in here and clean up that little bit right there, but that just kind of opens up this area right here by the pond. And I can kind of come here with the mini. I need to finish kind of cleaning that edge up right there and make all this look nice and pretty. So while I have a little bit more time this afternoon, I came over here to where I mulched last fall, right before all the leaves fell. I came in here and mulched all that down. It looked like this. And now I like the way that looks right there. So. What I'm gonna do is uh, come in here and just kind of work this little section right here. There's quite a few dead trees and all this underbrush, kind of get this stuff mulched out and uh, just kind of keep working my way through the woods right there.
take the leaf blower and blow this thing off. So I didn't quite get exactly what I wanted mulched because it got very wet, which is weird because it's powdery dry up here, but it's very wet right there. And right off the bat, I started doing more tilling than uh, mulching and that's not good. So I kind of just kind of worked out of that area right there. And I'll leave that for later this summer when it dries out because it really defeats the purpose if I'm gonna make a big mess like that with the skid steer rutting it up. So I started coming over here and this seemed to be doing a little bit better. And uh, I just, I wasn't really planning on it so I really didn't have a game plan. But there's a bunch of piles of dirt I gotta clean up and I wanna figure out, I wanna save some of these little trees that just need to come in here and flag. Which ones need to come down, obviously these dead ones. And uh, I just made a few passes around here to kind of open this up and I got to run through the woods here and pick up all the metal and junk like that and just uh, started another little trail right here that's kind of my ultimate goal is just to kind of open this up where you can at least walk around in here and not get covered in ticks and chiggers because uh, they love this underbrush stuff and it's just a whole lot easier to be able to walk through it when it's not all overgrown like that. So I'm not gonna clear all the way. I'm gonna leave that kind of, you know, a nice buffer through there, but this first, you know, 150 feet all the way down, I want to really open it up so you can kind of see into the woods. All right, well, I'm out of time for today. I'll be back another day to do some more.